What's going on, y'all? I'm Paul Russell, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Paul Russell. Paul, welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. I'd love to play a little game with you. Oh, here we okay. go. All right. Let's play Finish That Phrase. My weirdest guilty pleasure is. Ooh, wow. Uh, I love watching this show called Below Deck. If people don't know what it is, <laughs> it's a show where they're on like, it's like the staff mm -hmm. on a, uh, like a, a yacht, right. uh, like a charter yacht, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's like the interpersonal stuff between the staff, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And then there's the like guests who come and they'll have stupid, weird requests. Like we need you to blah, 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 blah. It's a good show. Yeah. I'm not getting paid by them to say this. Okay. But that's, but that's your weirdest, that's your guilty, guilty yeah, pleasure. Definitely. But you are telling people about it. I'm telling you. Oh, you're it. right. So it's not even guilty. It's okay. Oh my gosh. It's okay. okay. It counts. It counts. <laughs> we'll let it count. Um, I would describe my style as. Oh, wow. Um, I think of like mafia guy on vacation. <laughs> A lot when I'm like trying okay. to take out of it. I don't Tony know if this Soprano necessarily <laughs> is as uh, this outfit particularly right now. Is, yeah. But it's like you know I like stuff that is like a, a very like traditional silhouette, but mm. that is like kind of fun and colorful. Yeah. And so for me, it's like okay, what's something that like someone would have worn in New York in the like 50s, mm. but it's like updated because it's kind of funky now. You know Got what it. I mean? Like so. your rain boots. There we, I'm wearing rain go. boots right there you now go. in but the summer. Updated because they're not all the way up. They're just like little ankle boots. There we go. So See? there you go. Hey. All right, you're doing it. <laughs> oh, I couldn't live without. Pretzel crisps. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like the really thin pretzels? The thin pretzel yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. I eat those every single day. Wow. I'm obsessed with them. I'll get like little sauces. They it's, need it's, to sponsor you. They need a, We got a list of sponsors uh, yeah, from we this. Got this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have gone from playing the ukulele at coffee shops working in finance to now having one of the biggest songs in the world. How did you get to be here? What happened? Oh my gosh, it's insane. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty wild journey from just, I think the ukulele stuff, you know, it was fun. Yeah. It wasn't me being like, I want to be a musician. It was just like, all right, I'm making music. Was it 2009? Fun. I feel like everyone had a ukulele in 2009. Really? Probably around like that around time. Around that time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, for some reason, that was the thing. That it was just cool. You could bring it anywhere. You yeah, could do a little, small, yeah. no setup, no, no amp. And yeah. I mean, for me, it was like, I knew I couldn't play guitar. So I was mm. like, what's well, something slightly easier than that? Uh, and so, yeah, I would do that. I was at the coffee shops and the pizza places. And then I think just over time, I just started to figure out like, oh, A, I like making music. Like it's something that I think is fun and I think it like connects with people. Uh, but then I just realized like, okay, there's like different things I can try and different directions I can go in. And, and I understand your music is a lot for like the outdoors, like barbecue music. Yeah. Because a lot of your life you weren't spending it outdoors with work, right? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was busy with work. I was, you know, obviously there was a pandemic, mm. you know, and just like going through life, you know, it's like I remember earlier in the year I had a, a friend pass away oh, and then I was working a lot. And then I was just in this place where I'm like, gosh, like I just want to like have a good time. And I felt like there was a lot of music out there that was very angsty, which was cool. And that was connecting with how I was feeling. But it's like at a certain point, it's like, I want to just like switch it up. You know what yeah. I mean? And so, so yeah, so I started making music that kind of reflected that. And I think that uh, a lot of people seem to feel like they were in the same place or at least mm -hmm. connect with what I was doing. And, and then, you know, it felt like, wow, this is a thing. Like I need to keep doing this and keep trying it. And so, that's I love kind of it. Well, yeah, because so much music are about heartbreaks. There's so yeah. few music about just like good times and happiness and like, yeah. you know, just being and, content. Yeah, and I think like, I think that was a big thing in like, I don't know, like when I was growing up, like the 2000s music, mm -hmm. you had a lot of that stuff that was the really like, you know, happy, like, let's just have a good time yeah. outside stuff. And so I, I remember it's like, you know, I used to like, I'd DJ at a party or like I'd go to a wedding or something. And I'd be like, all of the music that people are playing, it's like 80% music that is not from the past 10 years. Mm. And so for me, I felt like, wait, 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 there's something missing right now. And so, and I mean, 
of course there are artists who are making what I'm talking about, but it just didn't feel like the volume was there. Right. You know, so so yeah, I was like, let me throw my hat in to try to contribute to this. And so it's been cool. And you did that with TikTok first, right? Yeah. And you didn't have the full song, you just released part of it when you released it? Yeah, for a little boo thing. Yeah, yeah. it was, uh, it, yeah, I, because this wasn't even meant to be a song that I released. Right, like, like you have a team now, but you didn't, you, you didn't have that team when you just released no, no, that. It was, it okay, was, so it, tell me about that whole like TikTok thing, because that's insane to me. Yeah, I mean, so I was, I was sitting in my room, mm -hmm. I was in my bedroom, and I was listening to music. Um, Best of My Love came on, and I just, I just loved it. Like I, I've known the song for a while, and I love the horns in the beginning. It like gets your attention. And I was like, oh, like this is fun. I'm gonna, you know, do a little like I'm just gonna freestyle over mm -hmm. the instrumentals. I found the instrumental because, um, you know, a while ago on TikTok when I first started out, like a thing that I would do is I'd find a song that exists and I'd like do a rap verse on it. And so it was kind of like I was doing this as like I haven't done that in a while, and it was fun when I used to do it. Like let me just try that out. And I made it, and I didn't think. Like, oh, this is gonna be a song. I just thought like, okay, yeah. I guess I'll post this. Content. You know, just content. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, it just started growing. I remember I was I was playing mini golf <laughs> and like my phone kept beeping and I was like, let me let me step aside for a second. And then it was just all these people like making, you know, they were making videos to it already, and it was like, wow, what's going on? And it just kept growing and growing and I had people reaching out to me. And I remember then like a few weeks later, I went, uh, like I was just like out at some bar with some friends and like multiple people came up to me and were like, hey, you need to release that. So like people I didn't know. Right. And I was like, wow, I guess this is like bigger than I thought. You and know? you didn't have the full song. Full song was, was not, not done. done. It full, was just that like It was just hook. a little, yeah, yeah, it was just that little snippet. And so I went home, I finished the song and then like, you know, because it has a sample in it, the whole task of getting it cleared became Ooh. the next thing. Okay. Uh, which, uh, you know, it's just a thing where I knew nothing about that mm -hmm. world or yeah. how to work it or any of that. And so we were trying to do stuff on our own. I think, thankfully, the, the label, you know, opportunity mm -hmm. opened. And so, you know, Arista was able to help us, like, get it cleared and get the song out and make it into a real thing. You know, um, but but yeah, it all just happened from like sitting around in my room. It wasn't. It, it wasn't it out is, of recording. It it's so out funny because yeah. so many artists today they work so hard to get that hook, to have it on TikTok, to have it blow out. But you kind of went in the opposite direction of like, yeah. here's a hook. Now let's figure out the song and like fill in all the rest. Yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is funny because I am that artist yeah. too. It's like yeah. the amount of times I've like made a full song and like been like this is gonna be a hit and then mm -hmm. I tried it and I tried to push it out and then nothing happened and it's like the thing that I'm not even thinking about I'm just like oh, I'll post it that ends up being like the big moment which is it's funny Paul thank you so much this was so fun yeah and, I love it. and good luck with the album and congratulations on all your success awesome thank you so <laughs> yeah. much